Yes, greetings, my people, greetings, my people, greetings to all. Um, today is a special day. Today will be a special program. Among all the programs we are holding, I said you are highly welcome to Miro African Television. We are hosting you to educate our people. This platform is made for education because Nigeria has tarnished the whole history in Nigerian schools and all around. It is our duty to educate our people, to inform our people, to enlighten our people all over Biafra land. I said, uh, my people, you are highly welcome once again. Our episode today is the fifth one. The I will place I will let you know when the line will be free. Um I will ask our brother Barrister some questions uh, and I will like you to listen first of all. Allow him to finish uh, his uh, teaching before we will be able to proceed in terms of calling and um, other issues uh, pertaining our people, no matter however is spent the, the, the message is touching you, please have endurance and bear with me. I will pick every call today. Anyone that comes in will be picked. Your voice will be heard. No matter what, I try to figure out and to fix all the technical issues. Udo Drumu Biafra. All gathering the Biafra now, Magazirumu Biafra. So can I let me try to welcome our beloved brother Barrister Emeka from London. Uh he's here to teach us Barrister is not against anybody. He's not against our people. I have tried to talk to our brother Barrister. We have we are working, let me put it this way. We have worked out the best solution to put things right but i would like barista to come and explain it to us directly let me invite him as we wait to hear from him let me keep on playing our motivating song god bless you Hello. Good day, uh, Barista. Good evening, sir. Uh, welcome to today's episode. Welcome to today's show, sir. So. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, my evening. brother. Sorry for the uh, um, um, the the late that uh, I made. Uh, that that's my fault. I am the cause because uh, I travel somewhere and I didn't make it in time. My people, I said, be with me. But uh, I promise you that today no matter how short it will be barista has a lot of paracetamol has a lot of fencing has a lot of ogwa for you know in nigeria there is one medicine they call alabuku and there is the other one they call uh, <laughs> um, in the market uh, those yeah. people follow your trucks or train uh, buses going to eastern region they will yes. bring one tablet and tell you oh gum na goya in our area, and I knew I did a barber. Barista's <laughs> medicine got to heal everybody today. Barista, wow, please talk to your people. Zebedi, you are very, very funny. Um, thank you for giving us this opportunity to uh, look into these issues concerning our nation of Biafra. 
I am a Mecca Mecca Shri, my brothers and sisters who are listening to me. I'm happy to be with you this night. I, I enjoy every one of you to be very free, ask your questions and listen gently and make your contributions and let us work as one people, people with love and unity of one mind and, uh, and accepting each other, tolerating each other, you know, listening to each other, even where we disagree with each other, we disagree in love without attacking anybody, knowing that we have differences of opinions, differences of understanding. I think with love and unity, we can do a lot. Yeah. So I welcome every one of you. I thank you for listening. And um, um, I thank the presenter. And um, we shall move as the presenter directs us. Thank you very much. May God bless you as you listen. God bless you, Barista. God bless you. Barista, I will throw my first uh, sickness today. <laughs> and I know that you have the cure. Yes. So what, <laughs> what's your sickness? <laughs> uh, my, uh, I have received a lot of calls from our people yeah. from all over the world. Yeah. And uh, I will say 70% of them keep on asking one question. What How can we blend Barista back to our struggle. I don't understand. How can you blend Barista back to your struggle? How? Uh, uh, to uh, work with Nam de Carlo. That uh, is, uh, they keep on that telling me, me to ask this question. What can we do to bring back the... You know, they say that when two elephants are fighting, it's we, the grass and the ground that will suffer it. I somehow, I don't... I don't quite believe that there is any fight between me and the Namdekano. You know why? He in every in every struggle, any every freedom fighting, usually there are, there are factions. Yes. And every faction will work according to its own methodology. Yeah. Um our ideology may be the same thing, that ideology of Biafra independence, but the methodology yeah. may differ. From the beginning, I quoted to you, I, I, I quoted what he wrote in black and white, which he, he published to the whole world, that legal method is useless and nonsense and fraud, that without violence, there will be no Biafra. And that those of us who have different opinions on Biafra independence are traitors. That any person who does not believe in his own method is a traitor and should be killed. I read it. It is written now. I'm not, I'm not making up something. It okay. is document. I, I have the document. He published it. Said that we are supporting APC and that um, we are using Nigerian politics, we are entering politics and diplomacy and law, legal, that it is nonsense. He doesn't believe in that. He doesn't believe in the legal method. And he saw where he and his members who even wrote, wrote petition to Nigeria government to even destroy the case that is in, a, in the federal court and arrest me. He, these things are documentary evidence. He okay. said he does not he okay. doesn't believe in legal method. Okay. Fine. Okay, okay Barista. So I have another... If you don't, wait, now, if you don't believe in legal method, and that is what I believe in, then how do I work with you who don't believe in legal methodology? Um, you see, we, we so must, it's must. not a fight. It's a, it's a, a question of... Misunderstanding. Different, different, different opinions. Yeah, opinion. def different methodology. Yes, yeah, so let him continue with his method. Okay. Um, there is another thing I want to ask, Barista. A lot of people are asking these questions. Um, if at all Nigeria invite Biafra and make an offer to us that if we will be able to um, um, remain as one nation, that they will restructure that, called, that nation called Nigeria, how do you think or which area do you think nigeria needs restructuring if they try to offer such a thing 
Um, the thing is this, I cannot say anything different from what I have already said, that that is already in court. Um, prayer number seven, that is in paragraph, paragraph um, two, subparagraph seven of the originating summons, which we filed in court. The one I filed, I don't know. Well, why I'm, I'm making this emphasis, I you know that the case is no longer in my hand now. Mm -hmm. A new lawyer, a new lawyer has been uh, has been told to take over, and I heard that that case has been destroyed. That most of the things I put there, they have removed them. But if the original originating summons I filed, I I adopted the memorandum of Hanes and Dibo, which they sent to the National Assembly in 2012 and gave Nigeria, I gave Nigeria three options. One, the first option is Biafra wants outright independence from Nigeria, that outright independence. Second is, if you don't want to give us outright independence, now give us independence within Nigeria. Uh, uh, pursuant to the memorandum of Ohanes and Dibo in 2012, whereby the six geopolitical regions should be constituted into self-governing regions in the one Nigeria, just like we have in the, in the United Kingdom, where we have England, Scotland, Ireland, Wales, four countries in one. And each of them has its own government. Okay. So... So that the six regions now in Nigeria shall become six countries in one Nigeria. And each country can answer any name they want. We in the Southeast can answer Biafra. Those in the South South can answer any. Those in Southwest can answer any. All of us, six countries in one Nigeria. And every country govern yourselves. But there will be an understanding, an agreement whereby we pay a certain percentage tax to the central government. Mm -hmm. Yes. That every region now govern yourself as a country. And this is the second. The third one is, if you don't give us the first, and you don't give us the second, then the third one, I now say, the third one is an order, federal court order, Compelling the defendants, that is the federal government and attorney general of the federation, to present an executive bill to the National Assembly passing a law to dissolve Nigeria to go back to status quo ante in ni before 1914. Okay. To go back to where we were before the amalgamation so that every person go to your father's house. Okay. That is, if they don't take the first, they don't take the second, then the, op the last option should be dissolve Nigeria in peace. To pre-1914, every person go back to your father's land. Where we were before 1914. Okay. So, you can see that the second prayer, that's the second option, is the best for now. Okay, sir. Um, there is another so, question that. Yeah. Like so to... that is. So if they are talking about restructuring. Yes. The structuring should be in line with what we have put in court already. If they don't want outright independence, then let do, let them answer the prayer that is already in court. Okay. Um, thank you for the information, Barrister. Um, there is another thing that I would like to chip in. Um, uh, you know, um, our people do pick points uh, when you are teaching them in some certain things that happened before. Um, they keep on asking also, um, before you, you made and you made, uh, you, you, you have a um, solid contact with uh, international leaders, which most of them open door for hearing our own part of argument before things went wrong and the door closes is there any possibility for us to 
go back to that position again uh yeah yeah you have a good point um yes like the first country that we visited was australia yeah the government of australia that was the first country in fact by now they will be surprised they will actually having because what is happening among the Africans now is being read all over the world people are public that is the, on the news in the internet everywhere people are reading it so i'm wondering how the um australian government will feel now when they read all these things on the internet about what is happening i don't know how they'll be feeling now in fact one that is penning me now seriously penning me seriously let us hear is, it is is the african union AU. AU, which you used to call OAU, not AU. Yes. I represented Biafra at the AU meeting in Nairobi, Kenya, in 2014. Do you know, I had meeting with the head of AU and all the head of different countries. Do you know, they told me that if African Union decides that another child will be born in Africa, if African if African Union decides that another child will be born in Africa called Biafra, the international that is America and the Britain or other world but cannot stop Africa from giving birth to a new child. Okay. Do you understand that? Yeah. If Africa wants to give birth to a new child called Biafra, America cannot stop Africa from giving birth to a child. Wow. Britain cannot, Russia cannot, if Africa wants to give birth to a new baby called Biafra. The head of African Union told me that they are waiting for us to come, for us to talk about Biafra. He took a copy of this, my book. I gave him a copy of this book. Wow. He, I, he has a copy and I have his telephone number. I call him from here. But we are we have disappointed these people. I don't want to hear that. <laughs> I don't want to hear this area, Vanessa. This we have one... disappointed them. We have disappointed them. For how many years? 2014. We could have gone, we could have sat down to begin to discuss this. And then table table Biafra issue for discussion in the AU. An opportunity we got and we missed it because some people were fighting against me, calling me all kinds of names. We destroyed that opportunity. It's paining me. Hey. It's so painful. But Barrister, what can we do to revive it, please? What That's can we do? What can we do? It's difficult to rebuild when you destroy things yeah i know that it's not easy but this is a diplomatic game they know that such thing can happen they know that there is agreement and there is disagreement i believe with you barrister with you look the you are people that are calling me are telling me i should use net using net or matter not that barrister <laughs> I am speaking on behalf of my people and those my people that normally cause they are the people that understand what you are saying they know we are you know the status quo of every point that you are dropping in this platform that's why they said please beg barrister even ask barrister if he can give out his personal number we will call him from our own angle i give them my number am i hiding my, my number is uh, is everywhere I'm not, I'm not hiding i don't hide any person who wants to call me they can call me my number is always there they want is it to... not my number that people were using, calling me, threatening to assassinate me? <laughs> they will not is assassinate not... me, barrister. They will... Nobody will touch you. We need you. Uh, what... Listen, we need you... if not for God, 
who was with me, who has been with me, the enemies would have killed me. They would have swallowed me up. Nobody will swallow you, Barrister. Nobody. Look, it's not Barista, for God. Nobody for will. God. Nobody. It's God that created you, and that that's God gave you the that's, knowledge that's, and protection. <laughs> if I this knowledge, even I think this too much knowledge is becoming a problem. <laughs> Yeah, so because look at me, I'm saying because somebody one day, somebody one day, when I was pursuing another another degree, um, it was um, it was the the chairman of um, Igbo Lawyers Forum then in Potako. He said, Emeka, don't let them kill you because of too many degrees." So I said, "Why?" He said that you know that after the war, he did that one one Hausa soldier. So one uh, professor from University of Nigeria and Soka then, he took that he has his card. He saw BSc, BSc, MSc, LLB, Barista. BDD. Barista. BDD. So he said, calling. "You alone." Should I pick? He said, "You alone," and he shot the man dead. Wow! Should I pick, Barista? Somebody's calling from Nigeria. Okay, pick it. Let me. Let's hear. Hello, they call on the line. Can you hear me? Yeah, can you hear me? Um, can you turn down your set so that our voice will not be echoing? So, okay, um, please, what's your name and where are you calling from? My name is Nze Okechuku Henry from Abuja. Nze Okechuku Henry, you are welcome to our platform, Middle African Television. What would you like to offer us? Okay, um, my, my contribution, my, this is, I, I just want to ask a barrister, um, question. Okay. Um, I've heard of all he has been saying, and which is beautiful. Um, I think he has a, a vast knowledge on how to actualize our, our dream nation, Biafra. Um, the, I, I think from the angle he's coming from, he has some elements of uh, a little bit grudge. Let me, if I can use that word, sorry, Mr. Barrister. I don't know, but I think right now what we need is every single person's contribution. Um, it's like uh, his line is off, Barrister. Um, but uh, we know where he's coming from and where he's going. Well, the, what I heard, he said that from what he saw or what he had, that he thinks that I have some grudges or grudge. Mm, yeah. Gr now, I don't understand. The way you put, the way you people or interpret this thing. Yeah, that's when you have, When you have grudge, that means you are filled with a spirit of vengeance against somebody. I'm not bearing grudges against anybody. All I'm saying is that I have chosen my own path, the legal methodology, which consists of judicial process, political process, and diplomatic process. That's what I say I believe in. And that person says he doesn't believe in this due process or negotiation or diplomacy or so. He wants another method. Am I to, how will I stop him from using any method he wants? So if I'm going my the, own, the method I want to use, and someone says I'm bearing grudges, I don't quite understand the interpretation mm, of mm, mm, Yeah, Barrister, um, you know, um, you're a learned man, and most of our people back home, most of them are learned too, but uh, the way of understanding things is different. I would not like you to... You know, you know what I mean. Going to that area, um, yes. I'm, no, that's not. I'm not. I'm not offended at all. I see it as their own interpretation of grudge. Okay. Eh? I'm not bearing grudge against any person at all. But but this thing, uh, this vision, my my method, you know, that is what I'm comfortable to go with. I have not shot a gun before. I don't. I'm not. I haven't carried arms before. I, you know. Yes. I don't know how to shoot. I don't know how to shoot gun. So what? But I know how to use legal bullets. Legal bullets. I can fire you. 
with law and diplomacy. By the time I talk with you, you see, um, by the time I negotiate, I'm a very good strategic negotiator in diplomacy. I, in fact, I major in policy and strategies. So, so uh, I, 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 I can negotiate and wriggle out, you know, you know, that, you know, but I don't know how to use the, the, the gun and the bullet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I understand where you're going, Barista. Um, but let's go back to what we were discussing before. How can we reinstate all these contacts, diplomatical contacts, that you, the whole contact that you opened before, how can we reactivate it back? Barista? Well, we can start by, we can start at least by writing letters, or maybe I will, if we want to, we can, people can come around and then we start. We can come around and uh, where well, we start talking, start um, organizing again, contacting again, writing to them again, and see what. In fact, even German government, I remember they were trying to get a house then, a house Angola left. Angola got a new uh, state house in Germany and they wanted to give it to Biafra, that the house they left. And in short, many things have gone wrong. Um, uh, Barista, I believe in one thing. I really believe in you, and, and you know that. You know, I, I, and uh, not only me. A lot of Biafrans believe in you. They are listening. What you are seeing is moving worldwide. You are teaching is touching everybody. At the beginning, at the beginning, on this Facebook platform, many misunderstand you, but as as you started teaching enlighten our people they now know where you are coming from and where you are going and all of them abide to that they love that idea they know that creating awareness is important but building structures laying foundations is more important because building a house without foundation if, if breeze comes it will carry it down so that's why they said we need this foundation we need this solid foundation we want barrister no matter how. Your people want you barrister. Your people are seeking for your help. They need... I can't start now. Listen, I ha I don't, you don't seem to understand. I, I can't sing alone. I can't do it alone. I can't. I am tired. Now, there are a lot of things to be done. So many things to be done. But people are not helping us. Uh, all my team members, those that are working with me, every person using his own pocket, from his own pocket and scratching himself. So what can we do? We can't do much now. My people, my people, all the As listeners it. that are listening now, um, Barista have accepted to reactivate all diplomatic cables and channels that he had activated before things started moving wrong. Now, he want people to come around. He want people to support the struggle. What you are supporting will not enter into Barista's pocket to feed his family. You want Biafra. And I believe that this struggle got to come from different angles. The ones on the streets enlightening people, the ones building foundation, the ones laying blocks, all of them, all they want is to make sure that that house stands and stand forever nobody is the other one is putting block and the other one is taking it down they are trying to build this block but from a different dimension you as you are seeing on this screen now there is a, an account number billion for biafra account number in london backless bank this is a ngo non-governmental organization anything that you spend on this account please you will get a receipt back with that receipt you can do stars reform anything you put in you spend into ngos is not lost you will get receipt and you will file in for tax return government where you are living will give you that money back that is something yes. that our people misunderstand in terms of yes. donating let me let me let me add there Okay. For what you said now has to be so that people can understand it. This is a charity organization registered 
in England. And charity number is, I'm typing the charity number now. I've already published it, Barista. It's a, one one it's the charity number. The charity, I don't mean okay. account number. Please, charity please. number. Please, Barista, somebody's calling from US. Let's pick the call. Please. 1172. Um, the caller on the line, please, can lower the volume of your cell. Hello, good evening, sir. Uh, please, what's your name and where you are calling from? I'm calling from uh, Boston, United States. My name is Chris. Chris, who, sir? Alright. Can I continue? Can you hear me? Yes, I'm hearing you. Can you hear me? Okay. Uh, my name is Chris. So, Mr. Chris, what would you like to uh, offer or add into what Barista is teaching? Um, I think I've listened to him a couple of... Uh, a uh, couple of days ago, um, and um, today I, I think I had the privilege to, you know, to call in. Uh, and I had you. I have. Hello. Yes, I'm hearing you. Okay. Um, I think um, you begged this uh, barrister a lot because all this problem is our own problem. I don't think you will need to do that, begging him. The only thing we need to do is to encourage him. Now that he has spoken his heart where the problem is, this is something um, he should have said earlier that, you know, um, uh, teaching us uh, all it takes, you know, to do it, uh, uh, this thing too, he just spoke about, you know, so. Um, I believe that um, the only way this can go right the way it should is um, if um, he, he liaises with um, the other guy, which is then Lambicano, and he goes that way and the other way. And um, now we now began to think about, um, we're talking about strategies on how to respond so that he will be able to do the one he knows best to do. You know, now the Carlo is doing a great job on the area that he knows how to do. So if the barrister comes and um, he wants to add his uh, input, great, great. But um, we really have to acknowledge that um, Nam the Carlo is uh, definitely doing a very good job right now. Um, regarding the structure, the barrister is trying to educate us on more. That's good, but. Um, it shouldn't be. I mean, I I I enjoyed his teaching, but I, I didn't like uh, the format at which he was to educate us on uh, um, this uh, stage two area. That's the problem, you know. So yeah, um, you need to really, if you want to talk to people who are ignorant, it's not by you know talking them down. You know. Barista is listening oh, to that's me. What I have. He, he, Barista, do you have to? Uh, can you add anything to that? Yeah, I don't know how. Um, he said, if you want to talk to people who are ignorant, don't you don't do that by talking them down. Um, I don't know how I. Maybe I don't know how I talk to people down. But all I'm saying is that. Um, all I'm saying is that I believe in the legal methodology and. Um, if somebody says he doesn't believe in that, I have no quarrels with him. But every person should follow the methodology that he, he, he that's, that he's um, comfortable to, to use. That's what I'm saying. I, um, I don't know if my word had come across like putting someone down. I'm very sorry. I, don't, I can't insult somebody or put him down. Um, if my word has come across like that, I'm very sorry for yeah. insulting you or something. No, but Barista, you've done great. You spoke great, so, but it's so. just um, your choice of words sometimes was not really too good. So that's why they let me call in. And I've just heard you clearly now when you have just you know brought out the problem. And it's finance. You may have 
you spend all your hard work, you started this, uh, um, you know, this program. You get it, at the stage you are right now, which you know how to do best. I mean, it's just to communicate to us very well. Now you get what I'm saying? Because we're all into this. The problem you're fighting for is for all and sundry, for all people, for all evils, for everybody who has that spirit in him that is called an evil man. So you're doing a great job. The only thing I'm, I'll advise is that please, just um, 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 don't talk down. I know you don't mean to do that, but I, I uh, you didn't choose your words a couple of times, uh, I, which I know that, you know. But since you apologize, that's okay, sir. And uh, yeah. I think yeah. you can yeah. go ahead and think about it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah I don't know. I I, I can't remember how what I said, or like you said, I didn't mm. choose my words. I didn't choose my. I can't remember now what I said. But mm. one thing is that I remember the other day I was angry. I think yeah. I was angry. I don't know what happened, and uh, I was angry, and I was putting some things and reading some things. And uh, I remember I said something that I should be angry. That if I don't get angry now, that God will be angry with me for not being angry. <laughs> Yeah, I, I mean, you, you made some wise statement, honestly, I must confess that. No, I, I remember that, uh, I, you know, I was, you know, when you, I'm human, one thing is that you should know that I'm a human being. And being a human being, I can react like a human being. I can, I can be angry, I can cry, sometimes I cry like a human being. I go inside my room and I cry. I'm human. Yeah. Sometimes I get I get afraid. I say, oh God, I hope I'm not going wrong. I hope this thing, I'm doing the right thing. Sometimes I fear and go back to God and say, God, please protect me. I just, I'm human. I can fall. I can even sin and ask God, oh God, I'm sorry. Oh, this thing I did, I'm very sorry. Please forgive me. Why did I even do this? I just want to let you know that I am a human being. I know. And, right. and being a human right. being, being a human being, yeah. I can also be overtaken by by um, a sin, assuming that I can't control myself, and I hit, uh, uh, and you insult me so so much, I can't control, and I hit something on your head. Being a human being, uh -huh. I'll raise up uh -huh. my hand, and police police will arrest me because I'm human. Yeah, right. You're correct. You're so. Correct. So people should not should not uh, tempt us to a limit where we now break up. Yeah. Good. So I have been I have been pushed to that limit. I have been okay. I have been disgraced. I have been insulted. I have there's no bad word that and the egg one egg gone in Germany and who is and Amadi and who is and the watcher. There is no yeah. bad word. There is no bad word they have not used against me. Okay. I think this but is I'm one thing we should I'm mentioning really this name. find a solution to. I'm mentioning yeah. this name so that if you call me tomorrow to court, I'll print out, I'll bring out the evidence, I'll print the documents. These people have insulted okay. me. But all uh, the insults, they have insulted me, I have never insulted any person back. Okay. Okay. So, um, but the only thing I did, the only thing I did, let yeah. me tell you, the only thing I did was, uh, I now removed myself from them. Okay. I dissociated myself from them. Okay. Uh, um, excuse me, but it's another person is calling in. Let's see, let's hear what he want to add. Okay. Um, they call on the line. Please uh, lower the volume of your set and. Uh, okay. Jetted myself from there. Hello? Excuse me, the Hello? Yeah, have you lowered the volume? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Hello, put it back, put it down, put it down more. Hello. Yeah. Um. Good evening from my side. So, uh, what's your name and where yeah. are you calling from? Yeah, my name is uh, Ikechi Chuku. I'm calling from Denmark. Okay, uh, Mr. Ikechi, please. Uh, what would you like to add to our show today?
Yeah, I'm really happy that uh, I have I have opportunity to say something. I wanted to say something based on um, what the barrister is talking about, and I uh, I really wanted to ask him some questions. You know. Yeah, what I wanted to say based on what he's talking about is uh, one is um in Nigeria. I don't think they have a law in Nigeria. I don't think one if they have a law because it's like uh, sometimes we we here in the Western world when we see what is going on in Nigeria, we see that a lot of things, even people that call them a learned people, a learned ones, the way they are behavior, the way they are doing things is like people who have never been one day in school, who have never had anything they call school. How can people in Nigeria, is, they made a constitution in Nigeria, and that constitution they made in Nigeria is for who? Is it not for the masses? Is it not for the people they made the constitution for? How can somebody offend and uh, just go out of the constitution because of Ill, uh, because because of behavior? He said they, they they don't want to listen to the constitution and they don't want to follow the constitution. But the lawyers are there to carry up the, con the person immediately. Now, why I'm saying this in based on what happened to? Uh, uh, what is going on between Nandekano and Nigeria? Now, when you go to Nigeria as, as a whole, um, the law courts have already given um, Buhari mandate consigning uh, to release of uh, this young man, Nandekano. Now, he, 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 he just go out of that line. If you see, if you go to the House of Assembly, most of these uh, people, most of most of them, somebody like uh, uh, Tariki, and most of the, uh, all of them, most of these, most of these idiots that is there, court has uh, been giving them uh, in uh, many. Please, sir, of, of excuse me, excuse me, sir. Don't use any insultive word on this platform. And another <laughs> thing, um, the issue you are discussing now, the barrister that spoke yesterday, um, he's among the Nam the Kalu team. Uh, uh, team barristers, he made us understand that uh, the constitution of Nigeria that all of us are pointing hand to is being written by one person and the military and the constitution is there to protect the interests of the military so even the but is it not interest of the people the interests of the people are not included it's not included so but what are we be doing what is if is the constitution are not included in the interest of the people what are we doing what are we staying in nigeria for they have to fight for we for to go because we have, are their friends have, we are not nigerians me. let me have let me ask you one question do you have any weapon to fight nigeria listen we are in a I western world whether we excuse have me, this you know that price is not for war brother, it's not for war thank you very much don't tell you don't use the word fight use legal method to organize and put things back to order using if you use fight many people will misinterpret what you are saying and nigeria will misinterpret can quote you wrong before court of law you understand things is not working accordingly yes we know that but what do we do we are not going to fight the government there are a lot of rooms to do things right that's how yeah. i see but you thank you but you don't you think that the way nandekano is don't you think that the way nandekano is going doing things is the right is the best way to do it no, is it me, don't me, you think so let, let me tell you let me answer that question directly um Baris yeah. made it clear creating awareness is very perfect yeah putting structure on the ground is the foundation of everything. Mm. Nobody should uproot Nam de Carlo, nor uproot the legal method of the fight. Let me pick a call, please be on the line. Hello, the caller on the line. Good evening. Can you hear me? Hello, the, the lady. Yes. Um, who is Good calling? evening. This is Charles from Switzerland. Oh, my brother. <laughs> Good evening. <laughs> Welcome yes, to the show today. Yeah. Thank you, my dear. How are you? I'm fine, sir. Um, okay, and, uh, on, 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 
Okay. Yeah, Barista, good evening. Yeah, my brother Charles from Switzerland. God bless you. Yes. Welcome. Yes, yeah, thank you. The uh hey, ma'am I ask what do you boy? I ask to you why I, I hope on your especially in Dubai. Not a program, I mean, you know, I'll ask what I you know. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, but by the way, I told me who much today. And one or two things in Trey contribute here right now. You know? <laughs> 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 contribution. I remember the Emma Mobeko Kaila, but I'm going to go to you. I was a young truck and Tigasion, no more. You know, Macandele Genti. Young Truk one. Both Oku one nine woke side EB and K Trump or Ogas Riasi Boston. Eh, what la? Yeah. Okay. Zeri Dila Barista, Yan Torre Jotabo, Barista, Obroge, Quaggy Game, I remind you your before. And I'm like, I just in question, I'm talking now. If we can say here, Lupi Ocha, okay, Metra Yoso, what I nearly feel. One. I got a quick day, you can really like an auntie. Like it, don't part of it, it's cheerful, in a little memory before. My laga chite, my care bambo, a la bump kayuru my. My laga chite zier back. Little la choco di are talangela, well, one nine woke. Born your lord, kiss out after half a where Pabu are now, Langelia Caganesia. If really la crumbo, my quebre movie eatry, simple for ya. Then eba observe the Ukuya side in Kegi Maro Fuma, Yotala. Then Kay Mana Kaigi see where a game here. And we loon to Bossi Zumpor. I said, No young one dimper. I'll be two feet where we're at. I'm up to Macaro for the guy got in Yunku that day. In Ilacho, I got a cho and can that one Madiano side there. A calao, and keep really Ukuya. Anolo Urala, Akalao, Mala Makebo Bibufu, in an attachable Moberia. So Oprulanka gave come in your Zaini dry game, Mobile Sadu Jaco, Haleza and Antinuinuk. He got fully wounded, did it easy. Oprodomo, you put it up for a new book here. I am one of that distinct and care than or you got a go. Mwa mati ale miye, ale miyo le me, nki ili ukuku inye, ale jia mwa ale jia kote ala, la, that is no fafa. Echi maka li bumu ukuo to, because, eh, 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 wano la nye ni ufu? Anu nga mi ukuwe, but many people are fighting you now. Many people online are fighting you that they are not hearing what you are saying. But continue. When, when I beke, when I beke, o kama kaunya wala wata hini. Okay, so what I'm saying, when we have a man, 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 from the four corners of the world, are you ready to put all the they said before all the whole uh, insult or abuse or occasional assault according to one of my brother that is that one is the most painful and all the rest and say I have forgotten all these things but I am back in this race for good and this is the area I will contribute and. If there is a meeting called for you and this our brother to say all has come and gone, please let us start. You know, continue what you are doing. This one we are doing now is to back it up. Because we, uh, we can't just focus on one side because we need what we are looking for. Because why I'm saying is that if you listen to what our brother from U.S. said, is going uh, uh, similar to what I'm saying right now. If you can do this, then if it is to set up another body, which is your own area of specialization now, do you understand me? Then let us know. But before then, I, I would like to have some, maybe an intermediary, somebody like 
to go to IPOB and come to you, maybe some of these things you are saying or all this area, maybe they have such body that is doing it. If they have it, then you yourself can still come into that body with some of other people, then we move ahead. Okay. Now, I said in this platform, even if devil offers me Biafra, I will take it. <laughs> okay. Um, oh the first thing is that first thing is that you said that you made a you made a statement that I should come back to the struggle. You are in the struggle. Yeah. <laughs> you are in the struggle, but like the way there is a problem, and let, let me call it a misunderstanding a little bit. But let us put it aside. That is area um, I'm coming from, uh, Barista. And you said, you see, listen, you said, uh, could go to IPOB. You see, the problem, the confusion that you don't understand what is IPOB. Yes. All of us are IPOB. All that word IPOB means indigenous people of Biafra. It is not yes. a pro Biafra group. Just understand. I think yes. them, they just caused confusion in this thing. That name, Indigenous People of Biafra, is the name I use to describe all Biafrans all over the world as a nation. As a nation. Yeah. As a nation, not, not a company. Yeah. Now, but he, he left us and went and registered a limited liability company called Indigenous Pro Biafra Limited. And I was not happy with him. So when he now uh, used the microphone, the radio, and announced that he is now the founder and leader of Indigenous Pro Biafra, that caused the confusion. When I created that body, I now assemble the elders. I said the elders should be the leader. That's why you call them elders of indigenous people of Biafra or council of elders. They should be the leader, the leaders of Biafra. So now we are still on that original body called indigenous people of Biafra, which is headed by the council of elders. That original body is still on, still working, and I'm still working with them. We established a customary government of indigenous people of Biafra, and it has a, an administrator in Biafra land. We established the gov government and notified Nigerian government, notified us to rock. We used Ibo Zrume complex as the secretariat of the Biafran government. Ibo, Ibo Zrume complex in Enugu. And I notified us to rock that the Biafrans have set up their customary government under the Nigerian legal system. And it is headed by the Supreme Council of Elders. We have all the structures in place. We have various departments working as a government. But because of lack of funds, you are not hearing our voice because the only radio we had was the one we were we built up the one name the can use and run away with. But we now started a to try to build up other media platforms, a, a, a media platform. That was how BVI came. But that is not as effective as what we want to have. So we are still working. So by not saying that go to IPOB, you see the confusion. All of okay. us are IPOB, headed okay. by the Supreme Council of Elders. Okay. So, uh, please, uh, Barrister, uh, the area I'm going right now is when you listen all over the world, the IPOB everybody is reckoning with now is this IPOB limited, as you put it. Yeah. Why I say to go back. Go back, to where? go back to where? Going back, I meaning is if we can lay us together, let's just put it in that way. You know, as a lawyer, you know the terminologies and the, the definition of English very well, you know. So if we can lay us together, 
please. So uh, that my whatever. Uh, yes. Me, um, a caller is on the line. Let me add him and uh, we'll hear from him. Maybe he wants to add something. Okay. Hello, the caller on the line. Good evening from my side. Hello, good evening. This is Emeka calling from Holland. Okay, Emeka, you're Hello. welcome. Um, do you have anything yes. to add? No, let him, yes, let yes. Us finish uh, first. Okay, Emeka, wait, 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 please. Uh, somebody, no one, somebody, somebody was somebody talking before you call. Can you wait? Okay. Okay. Okay, please let him finish. My brother, because finish here. Okay, so what I'm saying, I hope it's me you are talking to, please. Yes, yes, continue. Finish what you are saying. Oh, okay, so what I'm saying, if we can lay us together, it becomes official that we are working together. So that if you go to anywhere, what we are doing, the acts of the one limited, yes. If the one of limited go anywhere, they ask the one without limited, yes. So that we are going, then this is your own area now. Especially this area you pinpointed out, you know, the AU, the this and this and this, which is a very important area also. Like I said before, if, if we go and ask the limited people, they have not gone to this area now or they don't even have any means of going to that place. I don't know if you understand, so that we don't just go and uh, uh, be making fun of ourselves everywhere, you understand me, you know? Okay, so okay. This, I don't, uh, Baris, I hope you can understand me, you okay, know? Now, okay, now listen. When, what I found out was, when he, he left us, yeah. it appeared to me that he thought there is a competition, because, mm -hmm. Um, we had been going to the United Nations and we have the ECOSOC status. We are the only Biafran organization now that is in the ECOSOC status of the United Nations. Uh, but I found out that, that the, it appeared there were, maybe they thought there was a competition. Then the next thing I had, I said they're also going to United Nations. And somebody was saying, uh, in the United Nations, uh, many Biafra uh, organizations will be saying, and the United Nations may be surprised and, and be wondering who is talking for who. Who is talking okay. for Biafra? Okay. So, anything I, I, I my team, that's my team, the yes. people working with me, anything we try to do, they try to counter it as if we're in a competition. So, I, somehow I, I feel it's like um, it's like a childish thing as if we are competing. There's no worry. Um, Parista, let, let it not be just to, maybe I'm not cutting you off, but I thank God you understand the area I'm going now. And that is why I said, if we can have some, some, maybe two or three or four people as a mediator, and you in this forum now admit to the entire world uh, Biafran that are listening or other IPOB members for you, you have forgiven all, all these people or you are, you are ready to push this thing away because this thing is something I myself personally, I love it. They say when you are not, when you are passionate of something, you are, you are uh, of something, you become obsessed about it. You understand me? So, when they every, if everybody hear this from your mouth today then with that an intermediary or maybe a mediator, then we come face to face. Then when this peace is made secretly among ourselves, it becomes official. This is your area now. We or other people that are ready to go with it, then whatever we are ready to do, we have to do it so that we start pushing all these things now. Um, because why, Barista, why I'm saying this, I don't want to use this word, but maybe can also turn Kalibo. Yen get it out of Kalibo, a friend and Kaila Lunya now, in your middle woman are full. I look at Gamo or make goose real patch up somehow. Over the Palaga or Tapaga or so, because of way through this Biafra, I'm a Niki Motaria, only Cobogeta Mobogeti, Mano Genia Yusu, so that the two years are now. You know, ka, at least Kaiju would go to this temple, this thing, you know, 
Because uh, a man all across for 50 years, that balance a commissioner journey in life. Anything can happen. Yeah. And the uh, aunt to do any little lap on him, no, especially in do try no, but do you for what I bachelor that is a commissioner journey. Yeah. You know, like your one boy, I won't do try ever. I find you come from Biafra and your own back. Um, okay. But I was a young fool. I was a young fool. Um, Biko. So, all your kids are what it was a baby. I drive to one man, I'm not ready. You know, a one or two, a baby, two or a baby. No, I make a hat. If we make a call, this is normal now. How put the key you put a the flat dry more this and this as a room. I can money. I have a piling in freeze. We are there now. Oh, more crackling up a tabas more small, small. It's quite in care with just so many. I live up here. A way of Reben Naga. I got from here. Well. Him got like well, added that place. Oh, um, and when uh, and when uh, um, we are not quarreling, and uh, um, yes. the issue the issue has been settled. Only that the demarcation not there. Oh, the right hand is not accepting legal method, and the left hand is not accepting rioting. Then what we have to do is this: to uh, separate the two bodies. It's like two brothers running one company. And they are disagreeing. Now the father or the mother jumped in and said, Okay, do you know what? Let me share this company. You call your own name, you call your own name, but all of you got to be working for the development of the family. Um, um Barrister will be following the area he knows best. Yeah. All to push Biafra forward. People will see the light. People will see the the the, the 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 um, uh, effect and uh, our brother following the, his own method people are already seeing his own effect you understand yes but we will not put our all our eggs in one place we have to uh, uh, share it yes so uh, that, Zebedi, please yes. You understand me even uh, I, I, you i understand you very well and i want you to understand me also mm -hmm. barrister also he made a statement a few minutes ago you know mm -hmm. even if if you separate this company as you are saying mm -hmm. you know we are going to this method and this one this uh, this group are going to this method it boils down that when you get to this place they say these people have done this if you come to this place they say this group have done this it becomes a problem that's already this the competition the barrister is making, you know. That if they is see that's any why step we want to see that is teaming up is to stop it. But okay, let's now. like but like, like well barrister, like what I wanted him to admit in this forum, like everybody said, like barrister said, is like a competition. That competition is not going to be there. That arrowhead now, let it be in and be arrowhead. Okay, now let's it doesn't let's... matter. Okay, because no, all y'all are put now, then let no, the no, barrister. No, no, mm -hmm. Um, um, indigenous people of Biafra is headed by the Supreme Council of Elders, not Namdekan. <clears throat> For sure. I want you to understand that. You see, there are certain things I cannot compromise. Okay. That is, I cannot allow lawlessness and anarchy. I can't. When I gather the elders together, when I enter the the Biafra struggle, the elders were not carried along. In fact, I suffered a lot of persecution in the hands of Biafra activists for bringing in elders into the struggle. They said, "Why are you bringing these elders? They are fools. They are foolish people. Where have they been all these years? When since we lost Biafra?" Is it now they want to bring them in? Uh, they insulted me so much when I was with others. But I was using the principle, the spiritual principle. And um, fortunately, I was able to get these others together. Engineer Madi helped me a lot in running around because when I met uh, Dr. K. Defe, and he wrote lists of names. And I met uh, His Royal Majesty Ezo Zobu, and he also wrote lists of names. Now, the next thing was going around to meet all these people to sign. 
Injinamadi helped a lot with his vehicle to run around to get these people to sign. That was why I was saying that even I was shuttling between London and Nigeria. That was why I mentioned that even at that time, Namdi knew how I was looking for elders, and he didn't tell me to go and meet his father. But, well, we eventually succeeded. And why was I doing that? In the Igbo, in the Igbo philosophy of leadership, we don't believe in one-man leadership. We believe in collective leadership. The elders council, even in your village, what they say, man. Even though I put this structure together, I didn't put myself as the leader. I went behind and allowed the elders to lead. Now let us let us learn to be obedient. Now, the Supreme Council of Elders, in fact, it was Dr. Ike Deveda who used the word supreme, because what I called them was Council of Elders. Mm -hmm. Dr. Ike Deveda said, use the word supreme. Council of Elders and constituted them as a native government governing body. And then I now notified Nigerian government <clears throat> that we have got a government under customary law. And the Nigerian government recognized them as the leaders of Biafra. And then we started. Namdi Kano seemed to be jealous of the lead, the, the, these elders. And then he went on air and took the microphone and said he had dissolved the elders, that the elders are traitors, they are saboteurs. And then made the youth to start insulting the elders. And then declared himself the founder and leader of indigenous people of Biafra. And now you said, you are now, from what you said now, that he is now the arrowhead, the spokesman, the leader of Biafra, that all of the elders should now queue behind him. All right? No, no. That is not what happened. The barrister, eh? That is what it, you it, said. It, no, that's I what said it. I said, this is <laughs> what I said. That is what yes, you said. Yes, so that the yes, elders yes, will not queue, the elders no. will not queue behind him. Look, the it, elders it, it, just give me, just give me a few him. minutes. It is what I said. Let, let's take a call, please. What? Let's take a call, please. Okay. Okay. Hello, good evening. The caller on the line. What's your name and where are you calling from? Hello, good evening. This is Samaka. Called before. Um, called before. From which country, please? From from Holland. Okay, from Netherlands. Uh, what would you like yes. to add, please? Yeah, because the one I called is like uh, yes. What I want what I want to add is first, if you can give the callers a little bit uh, because there is like that spending so much time. And the other callers don't have time to come and contribute. Yes, you're right. It's true. You have to regulate them. Yes, okay. exactly. And again, okay. and again, barista, barista. I don't. Yeah, I don't like when you what only what you are talking is about. Not Kali do this. Not Kali do that. Not Kali do this. Not Kali do that. As never now go, ever now go. Uh, is your Anya, Anya, to yourself. None can do this, none can do that. I wish we can stop, we can stop talking about none can do this, none can okay. do that. In that case, things that have I, to move, in move, that move case, on. They ask me. In, the, in that case, they shouldn't ask me a question that will lead to it. Yes, uh, but my brother, you know that uh, it's questions that are leading to answer. You yes, you ask me a question that will lead to it. So, will I keep you, my, If my somebody head. asks questions, he needs to clarify, he do not need to beat around the bush. You know, that's why he's not coming online to pinpoint in Nam Dekal. You, we are listening. Exactly. And you know that exactly. is the question that pushed him towards that area. Exactly. So don't ask me a question that will touch him. If you ask me a question that will touch him, definitely the answer will touch him. Yeah, I wish, I wish we can, my brother, I wish you can handle this uh, program without uh, trying to put Nam Dekal down because he, he's already hero. Who is who is pulling it's, uh, who? Nobody is pulling nah, anybody uh, it's down. Because the it's, thing is whether whether let wait, me finish. Wait, whether do you, do you whether, have any question what, or do you want to fight barrister that he you he called the number? Yeah, I'm, I'm not I'm not I'm not fighting anybody. But you you are doing of this program. If this program is only made for barrister to or for belay human rights or for belay for Biafra, then it's not all for Biafra.
I'm sorry, uh, we lost him. Um, the line caught. Um, uh, Barista, I am sorry that uh, the issue is coming towards this way. But my brother, um, from Swiss, you yes. know what we'll yes. do. We will set up uh, a panel uh, on the ground um, to look into issues. But uh, Barista, it, it's yes. tough. You understand? Yes. How about this? You know, uh, like one. This is our last brother. What he just said something anyway. We still we have had him. You know. But the uh, barrister, back, uh, you know, yeah. I want to summarize, you know, I just want to summarize. Okay. Barrister, barrister I would like you to give, w w when, when I said arrowhead, you know, uh, maybe um, that English is not enough or maybe it didn't uh, go down well, what I really mean. When I call him arrowhead, it doesn't mean that he is the actual leader right now. Like what you did. You did not put your name, and the many people. The last my our first uh, my first uh, coming in in this program, that was like maybe two days ago or three days ago. So one guy also called from US. He he acknowledged all your all your effort, and there is no way when they talk of this issue today, your name will not be there. There is nobody will do it, you know. So when I say let him stand to between this. But those people are there. I don't want to go into. I, I saw the other time when he, he when he came out uh, newly where from the prison. He met with our organization with the uh, and all the rest. You know. So what I'm saying is, if he can be there, but with this um, uh, with this dialogue we will we will have or this mediators and all the rest, which you yourself have accepted it. Yes, we, you know, we, we, he we, himself, we, we look into he it. himself, we know exactly where we are. My going. brother, let me pick a call and uh, we'll have to so talk about this. So that is it, if, if I can even, maybe I can take your number from ZBD, I can call you yes. direct with Tom. Yes. Yes. That's, on one on that's, one. that's better. Um, the call on the line, uh, uh, um, my brother from the Swiss, uh, I'll get back to you, please. Huh? Okay, good. Hello? Okay, thank you for coming. Um, the call on the line, please. Uh, good evening. Where are you calling from? What's your name? Yeah. Yeah, good evening. I'm calling from Dubai. Okay. From Dubai. Your name, please. Um, my name is Chidema. Chidema Ndewo. What would you like to add? Okay. Um, I heard somebody say that. Um, a leader of Abiyabi from Kota Service. Your line is not clear. Okay, I'll, I want to put um, okay, I do clearly. correction to them. But it's um, are you hearing him? Uh -huh. I, I don't know if you might be right, but I just want to say this. Um, I hear clearly. The line is not clear. If you are hearing me, you may call back later. Um, the line is not clear at all. So, Barista, um, uh, about what we are discussing before, how yeah. can we go back to that diplomatic um, status to be able well, to? Put we can start back. now. Maybe open it up again. Start writing to them until they respond. Then we can start paying visits again to them. What is? Um... <laughs> but the way <laughs> you are putting it is as if uh, I don't know. You are you are just dropping it. Uh, that's not the solution, Barista. Um, writing to them. Uh, who is calling again? Yeah? Somebody is calling. I don't know who is calling. Just one minute. He has all right. Um, <clears throat> we, we, we have to do something, Barista. We have to put things back to normal. In the sense that, even though, um, what does it take to write to them? If I may ask. Well, it, it doesn't take so much to write. What I mean is that a person who knows how to write, it doesn't take so much to write and then start um, reminding them of where we stopped and then maybe paying visits to them and things like that and start talking with them. Well, that's it. Um, if you want they can call the elders, call Dr. K. Defer and say, we want to continue from where we stopped. And then we continue from where we stopped. 
<laughs> but Barista, you can't do it. <laughs> eh? Dr. Kenny Fred doesn't know who is a baby. Boy, oh, yeah, today, see how that's a baby they talk. He can say who is a baby. <laughs> but uh, although your voice, I believe that uh, we all want uh, things to move well, Barista. Please. I'm begging you on behalf of our people. Let's give it a try again. It will never fail. I promise I you agree that. with you. I told you that we are still working. I told you we are still working. But because of um, some difficulties, um, you know, that aspect of the struggle is suffering. What people like more now is the awareness, creating the awareness. That is street protests and so on. That's what they like. But I have told you that creating awareness is one thing, but building the structure, building Biafra, the foundation, is the next phase. But people don't like that one. What people like is the noise, that is the, the protest, the, the awareness, going from city to city, having the crowd. And you know, when you see the crowd, you say, hey, this is, but, but that is good, but that is not the ultimate. There are stages of the, pro, of the project. And so since nobody wants to help us in this one, but they like to help for the awareness, uh, will you force people? Who will force people? So we do the much we can. I think uh, uh, the little we have, we do the much we can. Yes, it. but Barisa, I will throw my support on, on this uh, um, struggle to open another or reactivate the diplomatic channels. Because I believe our people where they like to see before they believe. But you don't see it. You can't you don't see if I mean if I go for a meeting, like when I went to the AU meeting in Nairobi, where they saw it on the uh, when it was announced, but uh, they're not seeing crowd now. It's not it's not it's no, not like no, some no, barista. <laughs> there are a lot of people who know the value. From example, now you have an invitation to AU meeting. I follows you. My duty there is to cover everything. Cover yeah, it was movement. covered then. It was covered. It was covered. But the same people who were attacking me, because if I mention his name, they say don't mention his name. But it was covered. And yet they now went on air because they have superior uh, media power and destroyed it. And people shouldn't, uh, shouldn't uh, support that move. And it died now. If, the, if it is covered, even though I get the copy of that video, I will televise it. I will publish it. Then call, call the people in, in call the people in Nigeria. Call um, the BVI because yes. at that time they, I think they they announced it. I don't know the people in media. If you call uh, those in BVI, I mm -hmm. think uh, Chine Kasus and the rest of them. Yes. Ask them about ask them about the uh, 2014 AU meeting. Uh, because even from the AU, from that place, I was sending um, uh, 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 records, I was sending um, photographs and sending uh, information from to them from the AU meeting. You know, they were they covered it then. I don't know, I don't know much about media, but it's 2014. If you ask them whether they still have it, they will have it, and I will be able. And to... then from there, we also send people to United Nations several times. They have gone several times. You know, you know, and um, and um, those who are still attacking us will discredit it and uh, tell people not to listen to us. They say that it's a uh, wayo that we are deceiving people. That it's not true. Yeah, so, so, what do you what do you do now? We we will not give up, brothers. We will not give up. We, we will not give up the fight because somebody is um, trying to push us down. Uh, but when you, fighting... when, when you tell the story, when you tell the story as it is, they say oh, you are attacking him, you are pulling him down. No, and you don't mention his name. But so if I mention, you can see that if I, I'm trying to not to mention his name, because if you mention his name, people, his his followers say hey, you are attacking him. Yes, I understand. But um, uh -huh. um, Andy was came If we start again, I will televise everything live, and. Uh, it is it will be my duty to feed every Biafran that even though you are standing on the street using your chest as a bulletproof at your own risk there are instruments that will 
handcuff Nigeria not to touch you again. And that is where we are going to. Meeting international communities that will ask Nigeria, it is not your duty to land heavily on these people because they are demanding or practicing their fundamental human rights. Even though what we will achieve that place will give security to other Biafras around the Biafra land. Barrister, sorry that I have taken much of your time today. Yeah, um, we are going to close. Yes, I will thank you for um, um, accepting um, the um, reopening of this channel. And um, I would like us to open communication also with those who are interested on the ground. Um, let us walk towards it because the many are calling on this issue of reactivation and you have made it clear and open before the um, Biafran people and people of the world that the uh, diplomatic channel will be reinstated. So thank you very much on that, Barrister. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you all the Biafrans who have listened. Uh, may God bless you continue to protect all of us good night good and goodbye night, god bless you sir thank you thank nice you. having you on this program but i'm very pleased to every day if i didn't hear a voice since the board hey, thank <laughs> you all right okay sir catch you ball okay. Okay. Family. Bye. Bye -bye for Bye. so my people you have heard from the horse's mouth not that i am begging um, barrister that uh, maybe most of you may see that um, we are begging him and uh, he's not accepting he's accepting but he's he, he he knows how to do things for it to work very well for us it is our duty also to throw our support behind him to reactivate this diplomatic channel you know what i mean by diplomatic channel contacting all the world leaders back because they opened their door before and we messed up with the no show. They give us appointment. We did not make it because we are by biting ourselves. But today, a new face, the Miro African Television, is on air to mirror your face, to mirror whatever we are doing, showing the world the real thing. Here is Miro Africa. I am not against no human being on planet. I have I don't know them. I have not seen them. I am here even the barrister. I have not met barrister before in my life. But we meet ourselves online and introduce ourselves. And today we are talking as if we know ourselves since 110 years. This is how brothers and sisters should be communicating. This struggle of Biafra, Biafran people, stop fooling yourself thinking that Biafra will come today, 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 or tomorrow, tomorrow. If you are sick and you don't take tablet or you are having headache and I'm giving you anti posh it has nothing to do with your headache. I'm giving you whatever that is not even related to pens. I am not healing you. Rather, I'm fooling you. Biafra is processed to use knife to cut a cake, if you bake your cake at home, you cannot command that cake and things will start dividing themselves. You will pick up a knife, slice that cake to your own, to the shape that you want it, and you pull it out before you start eating. Nigeria is a nation. Cutting Biafra out of Nigeria is process, my people that is process either you drink it and accept it or you reject it that's left for you nobody will use knife ojuku listen you guys are fooling yourselves i'm getting upset now because a lot of things is popping up in my brain you guys are insulting people because you doesn't read history you has no knowledge of what happened before sit down use your phone google about biafra what happened during biafra time then you will be able to realize that ojuku fought the entire world power ojuku fought war our people were massacred our area were blocked 
they give us economic blockade. We don't have food. Even salt is like gold in Biafra land. Did you see that here? Russia that normally say, let's go and meet Russia. Or oh, no, United States. Who came for the rescue of Biafra France? Can any of you mention countries? The only country that supported Biafra to last up to three years is France. It's France. Apart of France, no other country on planet helped us. If we will be able to look right in Africa, how many countries in Africa loves you as an Igbo man? Look your left, look your right. Who loves you? Nobody. Even inside Biafra land, we want Biafra. How many of you are disciplined? If we get Biafra today, are you disciplined enough to respect law? Do you know what is rule of law? When somebody tells you now you are riding five cars, as from tomorrow, you will start paying tax and you will have insurance of those cars. You will say that they have come again. If you drive speed where they put 50 and you drive 100, they tell you I'm going to seize your driving license because you are out of your brain. Do you know what it takes to run a nation? You know nothing. Bet you want a nation. You have no thinking faculty what it takes to run a nation. When we said, let's run Biafra inside Nigeria first as a nation under Nigerian government for us to know what it takes to govern ourselves. For us to know who is with you and who is not with you. Today, we are using ruler Drawing the map of Biafra from, from Delta to, to, to uh, River Rhine. How many of us, how many of them are ready to follow you? Have you done this research that these guys want to follow you? Or they want to use you, support you. If Biafra comes, they will bring out their own knife that they want to go. Have you think towards that area? My people, to run a nation, to have departments, to have offices, to draw laws that will guide the entire nation. It's not my mind. It's not ABCD. You can you be able to control your own family? Do you know what it takes to control a family? Or you got married and get the wife pregnant. The wife will deliver. You will be in the beer parlor drinking your beer. Children will be crying. She will be suffering, taking care of those children and you moving around, eating point and kill. That is not how a nation is being managed. If you mismanage your nation the way Buhari is mismanaging Nigeria, everybody is crying. You will turn that nation to become chain. No more change. And we, the Biafrans that want to leave Nigeria, are you doing things differently from Nigeria? Have you asked yourself that question? Am I doing things differently from the way Nigeria does their thing? No. You want to leave Nigeria, but you, you tie, you carry your, uh, this is, a guajo, buru Nigeria, national la Biafra. You behave like Nigerians. You do your things like Nigerians. You run the affairs like Nigerians. Why don't we create start creating rooms to educate our people, to turn their orientation, to make them to understand what it takes, to tell them tomorrow you will pay tax. Not in Nigeria that you don't pay tax. If Biafra come, you will pay your tax. Because with your tax money, the nation will be developed. We are not paying it today in Nigeria because we say that Nigeria is not doing anything for us. But if Biafra comes, you will pay your tax. You will spend whatever you are doing, you will spend for the nation to grow. For a nation to be large, it's not my mind. You will travel to China today. You see the rules and regulation. You see that you don't 
if you are driving you don't take the right of your opponent to overtake or to do whatever you don't leave your headlamp beam much on you do behave like human being i went to africa i went to nigeria i said i will not drive in the night because trailer is ready to crush you trailer will be driving with one lamp on you will think that is one machine and you will get yourself killed we have to learn to understand a lot of things need to be done and before we know how to do it we have to create our own nation inside nigeria manage it run it understand how things is being done before we want to go also that's all, I, all the message I have for you today. I don't know whether Barista will have time tomorrow. But even though Barista doesn't have time, I will be live to touch in many issues about Biafra. About Yanyi Biafra, Kaila. Give us Biafra, let's get out of this country. This is a zoo. Zoo, your mother is living in the zoo. If you call Nigeria zoo today, and your mother, your father, your brother is, is living in that zoo, what do you think I will call that your brothers? They are the animal kingdom in the zoo that I have to pay money to go and visit. Today, you are Nigeria, but you are Biafrans by identity. Stop insulting yourself. If a man goes to a, a beer parlor and tell them this useless woman are married, look at how she's fucking around and doing rubbish. Do you think you are insulting that woman? No, you are insulting yourself. Because if you are wise enough, well educated, I don't think that you will allow your government to manipulate you, even though your own local government, councillorship or whatever. What can you control? You keep on complaining and pointing hands. That's all I have for you today, my people. I said bye bye for now. <laughs>